Welcome to the Pilbara region of Western Australia. This is one of my favourite regions of WA. It is diverse and rugged, and some areas remain relatively untouched, producing amazing fishing. We are camping here for two weeks, and I'm really excited to show off this area and you can discover why it's so unique. We had less than ideal conditions for the first few days, so we've headed to some creeks where you can escape the wind a bit, but still chase some fish. I'm with my dad today in his tinny. I've learned everything from him, so it's always great to get out in the water and catch some fish with him. Unfortunately, the wind plays a bit of havoc with the microphone, but I hope you enjoy episode one, The Creeks, and please like and subscribe to help us out. Over here, Rod. Yeah. We're on the board. <laughs> on the board. He's swallowed that too. That's a nice one. Look at that. Beautiful. That'd be not a good jack. I'm onto something really decent here, but the fish was able to run back to the mangroves. I can see that it has wrapped itself around a branch at the top of the water, and when the tide drops, the fish will actually end up a metre or so out of the water. So the plan is to try to do some kind of salvage mission and either get it into the boat or cut it free.
Is it? Oh, it's a shark behind it. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, big shark. Oh. Did you nibble him? Shit. By now we had three mango jack and two cod and as the wind continued to increase we decided to head home. We came out of the creek to really poor conditions and it ended up taking us an hour to get home which was only 10 kilometres. So the smallest jack we've kept that um, to put on the fire so I'm just going to make up a bit of a paste. So a little bit of onions going in, I'm going to put in about half a chilli, got two cloves of garlic as well. That's going in. We've got some ginger going in as well, probably about that much. I don't worry about taking off the outside either. And we're going to put some lime in. Ideally, we'd put a little bit of soy sauce in as well, but I just smashed that jar, so none of that's going in. But we're going to put all this in, put it into the blender, make it into a paste, and then we'll chuck that on the fish. The blender is not as good as I would like it, so it's not pasty, but we'll see. <laughs> gonna cry when you're gone Where will you go? Won't you miss the ones you know? I'll be here, hanging on, waiting for your call Seems like time As a wave passing by Leave a mark in our mind Turn the memories River's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone River's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone River's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone River's gonna cry when you're River's gonna cry when you're River's gonna cry when you're Day two provides more wind in the 20 knot range, so we shelter in the creeks again. Filming with three people on a 3.9 meter tinny isn't easy, so there's not too much footage. And to reduce the space even more in the boat, we brought the crab nets along as well. <laughs> oh. We've got a fish in there. Calamity. I'd be uh, alright. It's a jet. That's oh. quite a good size one. Yeah. Do you need a net it? No, I'll, be, I'll grab him. He's almost unhooked though. Is he? You'll be alright, you'll be alright. Just keep the tension. Oh, ho ho! <laughs> now, this is... Hold yours up, nigga. Nice work. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Big. 
had one of the great days in the creek, the fish were on the bite the whole time and we managed to fill the bucket pretty easy. The conditions were terrible once again when we left the creek, but the old boy drew the short straw and had to drive us home. Cooking, so let's see what we've got here. Ten out of ten. Very lucky today, eating like kings. We had mangrove jack for an entree, mud crab for entree, and then we've got some mangrove jack and cod fillets as well. Hopes and dreams. 